When you're in a fight for your life, everyone else is on the sidelines watching. And it's easy for them to be critics because they can stand and watch you in the arena. But you need not to worry about those who are in the stands. Because those who are in the stands don't understand what you're going through because they're not willing to put themselves in your shoes. The reason why they can't step in your shoes because it wouldn't fit them. The steps that you are taking are ordained, they are ordered, they are purposed, they are given to you by God. You could be a lot more than you are. You could be so much more than you are that the boundaries of that are unimaginable. That's a way better message to someone who's in despair as what? You're okay the way you are, miserable, nihilistic, hopeless, amotivated, resentful. It's no time for a maternal embrace. It is in a sense, you know, because there's comfort in that. Mostly what that's time for is the clarion call to maturity. It's like, no, no, no. No, most of you has to go, man, but the best of you, it can come forward, and that best is there. It isn't me. It's you. But it isn't me that changes you, it's you. You set the small goals, you achieve those goals. Then set some more and achieve those and set some more goals, maybe a little bit bigger, but not that much bigger. Just start. Start small. Start with changing tomorrow morning, just tomorrow morning. Get that squared away. And then move on to the next day and the next and move your life to a better place. One little step. One little victory at a time. At some time or another, have agonized over making a decision. Some decisions are major decisions. And also there are a lot of small decisions that we don't make that they tax our minds, they drain our energy, they create a lot of anxiety and nervousness and mental torment because we don't take care of it. We decide not to decide, which is a decision. Deciding to decide, to act, is a major, major challenge for all of us at different points in different areas of our lives. And there are things that happen to us along the way, experiences that we have that prevent us from working through the mental block of acting. If you don't have a lofty ambition, then you suffer miserably. And the reason for that is life is really complex, short, finite, full of suffering, and beyond you. You know, people often say, life is meaningless. It's like, no, it's not. That's wrong. Because if it was meaningless, that'd be easy. You could just sit there and do nothing and it wouldn't matter. When people say that life has no meaning, that isn't what they mean. What they mean is, I'm suffering stupidly and intensely and I don't know what to do about it. Well, the suffering is meaningful. It's just not the kind of meaning you want. So how do you get out of that? You note the baseline of suffering. And then you say to yourself, okay, I need to do something that justifies that. An eagle flies at a certain altitude, and the only other bird flies at that altitude is another eagle. So if he find himself flocking with pigeons, he may be flying too low. Eagles ain't got time to gossip. Kings don't gossip. Fools party, kings celebrate. They don't know the things of your background that you've had to overcome, demons you've had to slay and deal with. There are some things that you haven't been able to get over, but if they had gone through it, neither could they. But what you have been able to do is grow discipline. But now it's time for you to help yourself. The, 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 the road of greatness has potholes, has detours, has wrecks. The road of greatness isn't pretty, but it's purposeful. 
And so your road isn't going to be smooth. Your road isn't going to be easy. Your road will be the road that's less traveled. But just know as you travel on this road and doubt creeps up, just know as you're traveling this road and you start to question yourself, just know as you're traveling this road and, and hard times creep up, just know you were called to travel this road. And at the end of the road, everything that you can't even imagine is waiting for you. At the end of the road, they have a you, there's a you waiting for you that you can't even picture right now. You can't even fathom that you. The journey built this. And the journey wasn't pretty, but the journey was purposeful. The journey wasn't perfect, but the journey was purposeful. And as you meet struggles, and as you struggle to stay on the path, first of all, remember, you don't have to fight alone. Reach out to your comrades in arms. We win wars because we stick together, and when we stick together, we can overcome any enemy. And the struggles that you face, when they, when they do try to flank you, do what a soldier does, turn into the ambush, turn toward the enemy fire, and attack. Reasons have power. Your reasons will drive you. When you have doubt, when your faith becomes weak, your reasons will fortify your faith. When you have an inner conversation, say, no, don't do that. Your reasons will become your rod and your staff to comfort you, to take you through those challenging moments. It can be painful, it will be uncomfortable, and that's where the growth is. When you're uncomfortable, when you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar. No how many mistakes I've made, no matter how many times I've failed, no matter how many times I've hit the ground, I got up. Do not be ashamed of the times you've lost. Use that as lessons learned and show the world what you're really made of.